Hello and welcome to episode 129 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Yay! Hmm, more artillery. More, more artillery. Hmm. The last time we went out in the M53, M55, we didn't have too much luck. So, I'm going to start off this episode and see if we can do a little bit better. Yes, enough said. Better. Hmm, a map we haven't had for ages now, Lakeville. It's an encounter match again. There are the teams. Hmm, looks like they've got more medium tanks than us. They could try and push round the western flank, potentially. So I expect some of them will go for an early spot in the middle. And I'd like to try and get across, if possible. I'd, try, I'd like to try and get further across if we can. But I'm not going to risk it just yet. I'm going to sit just here. See if we can get aimed in for a shot. We are over this way. So there's the WC. This is going to be difficult. Okay, that's that's a nice shot, I suppose. Yeah. That, that'll do. I don't think he's going to be very happy about that somehow. Um, yeah. But uh, we got him nonetheless. So there's an E1. We're still loading. Let's see if we can get aimed in ready. Mm, that's a difficult shot. And we can't quite get a shot on him either. And uh, we've lost the spots. That's a shame. Okay, we're not really able to help the western flank much, so... Hmm. We might be in a good spot to hit this M103, though. Yes, we are. That's good. Right, Let's see what we can do. Yes, we managed to hit him in the side of the turret by the look of that. That's good. We reset the cap as well. So gonna just shimmy a little bit more forwards there's a yag, pan yag tiger I was corrected a little while ago for mispronouncing these and I am terrible at pronouncing things so mm, my English isn't great let's see if maybe we can get shot on one of these guys again um, oh no Okay. Might be able to get a shot on these guys a little bit more. We're not going to be able to get anything on them unless we move all the way over. So, But our guys are in good spot to lay down cover and fire on them. Which is good. And we might be able to get a shot on the tortoise. Let's just wait here. Shot away. Well, that hit him. So that reset it again. It's good. We are resetting this cap fairly efficiently, which is nice. So we will stay here and see if we can keep the pressure on. So this AMX 50B, they're fairly squishy. Uh, da, 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 waiting for the reload. We really need someone to spot him again. Can't quite get a shot on him. Here's the 50B. Ooh, and he's pushed down to there. Okay. Hmm. They're all in fairly good anti arty spots now that we're bloody loaded. Typical. Might have to try and move, mightn't we? Hmm. Let's wait and see. Okay, we managed to get rid of the M103. This AMX 50B is in a bad way. So that's two of his shots gone at least. So he's going to be on reload again soon. 
We can get a shot on him. Oh, this guy's got the dirt gun. Oh, that was a decent shot. Okay, looks like he might be reloading now. But he's gone anyway. So can we get a shot on these guys? We can't from here. So let's move over. See what we can manage. It's just the E75 left. We might not get any more damage done this game. No, never mind. Good game. So, yeah, that wasn't bad. Just under 4,000 damage. 3,869 3, damage in the end. That's how well we've been doing of recent this uh, recent time online. So it's not too bad. It makes a change because I've been losing so many matches of late. This this is a bit of a turnaround, especially for a weekend as well. Now I've said that, obviously. Hmm. That's the word. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, that was the teams there. We managed to get quite a way up there. That's a decent amount of XP. That was good. And that's a two times two for our uh, first win of the day in this. So that's excellent. Yeah, lucky first shot as well. Very good. <laughs> Super stuff. Okie dokie. What next? Should we try? I haven't tried the object for a little while. So... Been having a little bit more success with the high explosive rounds with this now. Um, I've changed my loadout to 1071 now. Uh, yeah, and it's not too bad. I'd like to try and be a little bit more proficient with the AP rounds, but pff, I'm terrible at that. So, <laughs> yeah, let's let's go see what we can do with uh, with the object 261, this tier 10 uh, Russian artillery. Hmm. Malinovka again. This seems to be a uh, replacement for Karelia, I think. <laughs> but would you look at that? The teams are even-ish, if not by tier, but by the types of tanks, which is odd. I've not seen that very often. Hmm, very strange. Okay. We're going to have to work for a win here. So I'm going to sit fairly far up on this hill, probably right on the edge of the 3-4 line. We'll do as we normally do. And we'll ignore the early spots down there and try and get in, aimed in here. We know that this is a popular spot for lights and mediums. They are. Mm. You need to move the hull slightly, that's a pain in the ass. Okay, he's definitely backed off. Oh dear. That was unfortunate, wasn't it? We should have moved over. If I'd have moved over straight away, we would have been able to get aimed in and, and get a shot down on both of them, but it wasn't to be, so. Yes. Okay. Bronco gun carriage managed to take out the T-34. It's lovely. They are two tanks down right at the beginning of this match. So, very good. <laughs> Stay here then. Our Lorraine's being very brave. And our Centurion's all on his own. Okay. And two light tanks. All right. Okay. It's a T30 down there. And these two guys up here. So we've got a 140 and a T54. T54 can be very dangerous. Let's see if we can get rid of it. I really like the T54. Since I've had it, it's, it's just oh, it's so much fun. Really nice. Right, can we get aimed in before he drops off? Right, I reckon he's probably there. Mm. It's worth a go. Just pull back a little bit. Just in case. It's a 140 on the hill there. Right, let's get aimed in. Now that Lorraine's a little bit close for comfort. Right. 
not getting very well. We need to get aimed in before our reload comes up. So, and we need to move the hull to hit the Vosh. All right, let's move back a little bit. See if we can hit the Fosh on our next. Oh, very good shot from the Conqueror gun carriage there. We might be able to finish him on our next shot, so. Let's see what we can manage. Okay, reload's coming up. And we get aimed in on the Fosh. Oh, really? Wow, I wasn't expecting that to be honest. Okay, let's try and get down in this dip so then we don't accidentally get spotted. Okay, so we're going to be safe for a little bit longer. Okay, it's one of them gone. The object 140 is hiding, but we could potentially get a shot on him. Okay. We managed to shot on him. Our oh, Conqueror gun carriage is still alive. He's been heading away, which is nice. Let's see if we can get into some bushes, into some cover. It's going to be difficult now. There's the Lorraine. I think he spotted us. Still reloading. Come on, reload. And... Oh, we managed to get him. We didn't get spotted. <sighs> okay. And T49 there. There's T30. He sat very still. Hmm. And he's pushing on down. Ah, the Object 140 is still alive. We are pretty much stuck in this position. It's a trap! Oh, we got spotted there. It's bad. Okay. Hmm. This is a bit scary now. Where are we going to aim next? Probably going to be around for the T30. All right, we need to try and get some more damage down on these guys if we can. We've got the potential to be uh, shafted. If we're not careful. So T49's been spotted. Our T54 needs to help defend us. There's the T30. Cool, we managed to get shot in the T30. Let's get moved. Wow, we're very lucky to have stayed alive. There goes the T30. So now it's just the artillery left, and it looks like we're going to manage to cap it. Good game. So that was a victory, as you saw, and uh, one of the RT managed to get a lucky shot in after we'd finished capping and kill off one of ours. It's amusing, so I'm not sure if that counts, but it might do. So we managed 2,660 points of damage. I think we were lucky to stay alive there because we had two medium tanks bearing down on us, and between us and the rest of our team, we managed to fend them off, so that was good. Our Conqueror gun carriage managed to stay alive as well and he landed some very important shots even though the XP table doesn't really show that he did very well. He did land some, some shots that needed to be landed so that was good. And uh, they managed to stay alive so they saved on repair bill which is good. And we didn't make a loss and that was a times two for our first victory of the day so that was a little bit more xp for our crew who are i've just noticed on 98 percent of their final perk on their their final bit of the uh the third perk should i say so hmm i bet if we want to increase that yeah 
9,000 to 100%. Mm -hmm. Since the, um, the changes to the view ranges, I've thought that recon is probably, probably pretty handy. So, yes. Hmm. Okie dokie. Rightio. So, I know I didn't have much luck in the Conqueror gun carriage the last time we went out in it. I think we managed 180 damage or something. Very silly. So, we're going to end off this episode with, uh, with the Conqueror gun carriage and hopefully we can actually uh, have a better game. So, mm. fingers crossed, eh? Haha, -ha, Malinovka. There are the teams. Now, looking at the XVM stats, if we win, we'll be very lucky. But you never know with these stats. This team could surprise us. Could surprise us. So, I remember in our big fat and slow episode, we were on this same map, and we headed over this way, and we managed to get up to quite a decent speed. So, yeah, look at us go. Hammering along. Dun, 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 it's not many people headed over that eastern flank, so I think we're probably going to have to help defend that. Now, I'm going to head slightly further over than that. I was going to stop there. But I think headed over this way a little bit more, we can get round the hillocks on the western flank if needs be. We just have to be careful when we move not to knock any trees over. So if we start as far back as possible, bearing in mind that orange line on the map is our... Uh, maximum range this is very close to the maximum range of our gun because the conquer gun carriage even being tier 10 only goes that far so i think it's like um eight nine hundred meter range okay so there's a light tank spotted all of ours are being very careful over this way i'll let them know that this is where we're providing support um, we could go for that Tiger 2. Let's wait and see if anything gets spotted over this way. Okay, there's a couple of heavies. Let's get aimed in. Shot away. Cool, we managed to hit him. That T-71 is very close. A little bit too close, if you ask me. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep an eye on him on the map. So there's a T-30 and two IS-6s. And... Oh, something else. There's an IS-3 just appeared. Yep, there he is. He's taking people out already. Okay. So there's a T-30. T is dangerous. He's got a very big gun. Although his hull is very squishy. He does have a big gun. So... Let's. Oh, there's an E100 over here as well. I recognise the sound of that gun anywhere. Okay, shots away, but I think we should have led him a little bit. Yeah, that went miles off, didn't it? So now we've got another 45 seconds to sit and watch. And hopefully, some of our guys can stay alive for that long. Looks like the T30 had a bad time popping over that ridge, which is nice. Maybe we should see if we can whittle down. The U100 a little bit with some splash damage. The IS3 is hiding behind a destructible house. It would be handy for our guys to take that cover out. So we are coming up for a reload. Because these guys are so far away, our shell takes a couple of seconds to get over there. So, okay, looks like they're being flanked as well. Rightio, let's. Here we are, is our shot. Hey, okay, we hit him in the side. Not too much damage. Mm. Okay, we'll move again. Can't believe that T-71 is still alive. Okay, IS-6 is down to half health. Oh no, our IS-7's been taken out. Right. Let's make every shot count then. Maybe we should see if we can finish one of these guys off. See if we can cripple someone. There's the there's the IS6. See if we can just get another gun out of the game. 
Okay, he's fired, so he's going to be moving. There's the T-30. Okay. And... Shot away. Okay, we're reloading again. Let's move behind this hill there, so then T-721 doesn't spot us. He's very close. Very close. Let's keep an eye on this guy. Okay, he's been tracked. We're still reloading. RM-103 is completely on his own. Okay, looks like the 271 is being dealt with. Oh no, there's a bat chat there. Okay. It's going to need a hand. This bat chat looks fully loaded. Shot away. Cool, we managed to hit him. Ah. RM-103 is gone while I was concentrating on that. I've only just spotted it. It's not good. We're going to have to move. We're probably going to get spotted now because we've got to move out into the open. Let's try and stay as far away as possible from any potential spots. Hopefully our E50 will come around and protect us. We still haven't been spotted. We're too far away to get spotted. It's a trap! Okay. Target acquired. And yeah. Our aim time is going to be far too long for that to work, but at least we kept him distracted long enough for them to take him out. So they've got no artillery support now, and they are a very, very ill. If you look at the top there, our um, our hit points versus theirs that are remaining. Don't think we'll be able to secure secure a victory, do you? Mm. Okay, we'll leave that there. So, as you saw, that was a defeat. We managed just under 3,000 damage that time, so it's much better than our 180 damage from the last time we went out in the Conga gun carriage. But uh, we just couldn't lay the support fire down quick enough. It was annoying that a couple of our shells didn't land really where we wanted them to. I think we wasted one on the uh, the T-30, which was a little bit of a pain. Um, and I think the, the longer shell travel time, because they go very, very high, which is why a lot of people don't like them, is because... Um, with the Conqueror gun carriage, you can get over a lot of the cover that a lot of the other artillery can't. But it's kind of balanced out with have being fairly inaccurate. And um, that inaccuracy and the longevity of the times that I play the Conqueror gun carriage, you do find that, you know, I'm not as good as I possibly could be. Hence why I haven't really got any marks or anything on it. But um, it's still good fun. So it can be worth getting. Um, I think some of the art other artillery, in my opinion, are, are better. Um, but yes, we are getting a nerf in 9.8 I, from what I've read. It might be different by, this, by the time this episode comes out, but I think the aiming time is being increased. And as you can see, it is quite long already. So yes, we'll have to wait and see how we deal with that. But um, yeah, we did make a loss, but that's no surprise. I think the... Um, the Conqueror gun carriage rounds are um, two and a half thousand credits per per shot. So, yes, when you have one that doesn't do any damage, be a bit of a pain. <laughs> okay, well, we'll leave it there for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you've got this far, thank you, <laughs> and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. it. Really helps me and the channel out, which is cool. So. Yes, thank you for all my subscribers as well. I appreciate you guys subscribing and liking what I do. Everything's been very positive so far. And yeah, I'm really pleased. So playing artillery most of the time is difficult and you guys have helped me stay fairly positive with it. So yes, thank you. And uh, until next time.